by Lesser Plan Lab family and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we will be looking at the topic landforms in Jamaica. Let's go! Now my lovely students, before we can identify the different landforms that can be found in Jamaica, let us first define what landforms are. And according to twinkle.com, a landform is a naturally formed feature on the Earth's surface, often with a recognizable shape like a valley or a mountain. Oh my lovely students, there are five main landforms that can be found in Jamaica. We have plains, valleys, mountains, hills, and plateaus. First landform that we will be looking at in this video is a mountain. And a mountain is a landform that rises high above the surrounding terrain in a limited area. They are made from rock and earth. Generally, mountains are higher than 600 meters and that's pretty high. Mountains have very steep, sloping sides and sharp or slightly rounded edges or ridges and peaks. Now, there are several different mountains that we have in Jamaica. Do you know any mountains in Jamaica? If you do, go ahead and type it in the comment section. Now, I have three examples to share with us today. We have the Blue Mountain, the Moko Mountain, and the Catherine Peak Mountain. Do you know any of these three mountains that were mentioned? If you do, go ahead and type it in the comment section. Now, students, let us take a look at the next landform that we have here in Jamaica. And the next one that we will be looking at are called plains. Now, plains are just large areas of land that are mostly flat. And scientists believe that the first plains on Earth were caused by lava from volcanoes. And the lava pushed up through the surface of the Earth and made some areas flat. Some plains have been formed by erosion, which occurs when air, ice, or water wears away at the land and little bits of the land are washed away. So my question to you now, do you know any plains in Jamaica? Yes, I have three plains that I'll be sharing with you today. I have the Ligani Plain, the Vare Plain, and the Pedro Plain. Do you live close to any of those plains? All right. So the next landform that we will be looking at is hills. Yes, and most of us as Jamaicans, we live very close to hills, right? Now, a hill is a landform that is higher than the surrounding terrain and that is smaller than a mountain. A hill is a highland of much lower elevation than a mountain. Normally, it is not as steep as a mountain, but the surface of a hill is much more stable than that of a dune. Now, do you know any hills here in Jamaica? One of the most famous hills in Jamaica is the Spur Tree Hill. And we also have the Strawberry Hill and the Stony Hill. Comment down in the comment section and let me know if you know any of these hills. The next landform is Plateau. Yes. Now, plateaus are also called a high plain or a table land. And it is an area of a high land consisting of flat terrain that is raised sharply above the surrounding area on at least one side. Often, one or more sides have deep hills. Plateaus can be formed by a number of processes, including upwelling of volcanic magma, extrusion of lava, and erosion by water and glaciers. Now, do you know any plateaus in Jamaica? Use the comment section and let me know. 
Now, two examples of plateaus in Jamaica, we have the Manchester Plateau and we have the Green Grotto Cave Plateau. Now, the Green Grotto Cave Plateau, we call it the limestone plateau. So they're mostly made from limestone. And the final landform that we will be looking at in today's video, we call them valleys. Now, students, a valley is a long depression or ditch in the Earth's surface. It usually lies between ranges of hills or mountains. Most valleys are formed by rivers that have been eroded or worn down, soil and rock. This process takes thousands or millions of years to happen. Now, do you know any valleys in Jamaica? I have three to share with you. We have the Great Valley, the Rio Grande Valley, and Cave Valley. Now, use up the comment section and let me know if you know any of these valleys. Now that's it for today's video on the different types of landforms in Jamaica. I hope that you learned something today. Until next time, goodbye!